Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to remove end-to-end -end encryption on Facebook Messenger. So let's get started. End-to-end -end encryption is a feature in Messenger designed to ensure that only you and the person you're communicating with can read what is sent. However, if for any reason you need to remove the encryption, the process is quite simple. It's crucial to understand that end-to-end -end encrypted chats are exclusive to secret conversations. If you're in a regular chat, your messages are not end-to-end -end encrypted by default. The direct way to remove end-to-end -end encryption is to opt out of the secret conversation feature. Unfortunately, there's no toggle to turn off encryption for an existing conversation. Instead, you'll need to delete the current secret conversation and start a new chat in the regular non-secret mode. To delete a secret conversation, swipe left on the secret chat and tap on the three dots to open a pop-up menu. From here, tap on delete and confirm your action if prompted. The selected secret conversation will be deleted, so make sure you've saved any important information elsewhere before doing this. After deleting the secret conversation, go back to your Messenger home screen, search for the person you were chatting with, and open a new chat with them as you normally would. This new conversation will not have end-to-end -end encryption enabled, allowing for a standard chat experience. It's important to note that while removing encryption can make certain features more accessible, like accessing messages from multiple devices, it also means that your messages are no longer protected by the highest level of privacy offered by Messenger. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free, so click the link in the description to sign up.